This is North Dakota Today. Happy Friday and welcome to North Dakota Today. I'm Marlon Mayhew. And I'm Anna Johnson. Uh, you guys just saw that. We're going to Medora. Yes. That was a sweet promo. I love it. Oh my gosh, how much fun was it to do that too? It was amazing. It really <laughs> was. It was very fast, mm -hmm. but it was it came out beautifully. Yeah, so great job. Shout Family out to the creatives. Team. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so good. So you have uh, you have some plans for the weekend. I know you're yes. always you're always up in wedding. You are a popular guy. Yeah, Weddings I guess always. so. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna be in Aberdeen, South Dakota. So first time out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna see how it is and you know boogie down. <laughs> we love wedding dances. Yes. Oh my gosh, do you? Well, you, I don't know that you were here then, maybe, but in a different capacity when we had somebody on and we were doing a dance. Yeah. So what was that dance? I think it was the. It wasn't the cha cha. No, it was. Um, Boogie down or get down. Oh man. Get down no, on it was it. like a new. Wow. Never mind. Right. But you did. I remember you dancing. Yes, I was dancing. And you did a spectacular job. Yeah. It was job. so fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. so fun. Oh my gosh. Now, quick question. Do you, are you a sports, like are you a professional sports person? Do you watch professional sports? Do you have a sport you like? My favorite sport is lacrosse. Oh. Yes. It's a very tactical sport. It's land hockey for those that are like, what's well, lacrosse? Love that. That's the way that I can describe it. And one of the best teams is Denver lacrosse. And I'm, I'm so enamored about what they do year in and year out. Um, another one is rugby. I like the uh, like oh, obscure ones. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but there is one that my dad likes, and I see that we're about to talk about it. Yeah, football. we are. Football. I will say my husband does like football a lot. Well, foot, soccer. Soccer. Uh, for for us Americans, <laughs> um, he likes soccer, and he really likes a team that's out of Minneapolis. So it's yeah, nice. Pretty cool. Um, but FIFA. So they have their World Cup. Um, but this time, I think 11 out of 16 are going to be played in the U.S. That's so awesome. Which is pretty cool. And, and I mean, they might be a little bit partial, but they're, they're sure, they're declaring that soccer is going to be the number one sport in the world. I feel so, like okay. it, it's already surpassed the actual football, American mm -hmm. football, a while ago. But, yeah, it's definitely going to be one of those things that is crucial in the upcoming years because FIFA is actually going to be doing it at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Mm-hmm, that's so, one of the spots. Yeah, yeah, in 2016. Yeah, there was a lot of really good spots. I didn't kind of put them all or in here. 2016, 2026. 2026. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes. it's, all, it's all East Coast, West Coast, South. The closest, closest to the Midwest is Cincinnati. Yes. Sure, whatever. I think Kansas City was in there, too. Like, all right, we'll take it. It would have been cool if it was in Minneapolis. It is not. But yeah. But that's okay. We'll, we'll still take it. That's pretty cool. We'll take that. Um, also, I saw something. I was kind of going through just, we, and we do this normally. Like, we'll go through the news of the morning, what's happening out in the world. Um, I saw this story, and I was like, I feel like there's some people that might appreciate this. Um, a kitten. A kitten in Virginia. I used one of its nine lives yesterday. Crews rescued it from a storm drain, uh, and it's dubbed. Lucky. They named it Lucky, which is pretty cute. So what happened was an officer was walking a crime scene and heard the kitten crying from the drain. So they went to investigate, um, freaked the kitten out a little bit. So the kitten retreated, crawled through a pipe under the road. Oh my so now goodness. the kitten's stuck. So, all right, you're in this situation. Yes. Setting the stage. Crime scene. Stuck kitten. Da -da -da. Pipe you can't get to. Da -da -da -da. What are you going to do? YouTube kitten sounds. No way. <laughs> So they're they meowing did. to get the kitten out? They're they like, meow. They played pre-recorded kitten sounds. Oh, my goodness. And they, like, had, they had food. They, like, lured it with food. Oh, my gosh. It was so cute. So then they pulled him out of the store drain. We actually have a little video of it uh, escaping. Take a look. Yes. She got it. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. It may have taken a little bit of time, but there is a kitten that Jessica has snatched. And uh, she's getting it. The kitten is at least 10 weeks old and appears to be healthy. Yay. And they say a veterinarian will give him a thorough examination before they put it up for adoption. I just love that. Oh, how, amazing. Look how cute it is. I love it. This is the part of the video where it's like, oh, he's a boy. Oh, my goodness. 
That just yeah. shows you the courageous nature of, you know, our first responders. Yes. Yeah, animal rescue at that. Oh, I love it so much. And there was uh, an officer earlier this week. I think it was West Fargo PD. Don't come for me if I'm wrong. Um, but she saved ducklings from a window well. She was like a community oh, wow. outreach officer, and she had like a picture of her just saving some little ducklings. Aww. I know, I love that. And of course, yeah. obviously animals are not their primary duty, but whenever they do save them, we appreciate that. Too. Most definitely. It's just, oh, it's so cute. I love that. Right. Um, also, not related at all, <laughs> uh, if you like shopping, which we do. Love shopping. Like shopping. Actually, I got to get yes. some stuff from Adora. I still got to. So, oh, but, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll do some shopping this we weekend. We definitely do. Um, Sam's Club put out an announcement that they are continuing their popular Super Bowl promotion at $8 annual memberships. Oh, that's a so, steal because usually yeah. Costco is pretty pricey and Sam's Club. Yeah. So to have this promotion is definitely warranted. So take it a step is, at that. It is, right. Yeah. Well, typically it's about $48, I think, for the Sam's Club promotion. And Costco is just a little bit higher than that. I have a Costco membership yeah. um, because we like the good nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they have really, really good cashews. Um, yes, they do. So we have a Sam's, we have a Costco membership, but you can get the discounted Sam's Club membership from June seventeenth to twenty sixth. Wow! So short timeline. If you want it, eight bucks. I think that's pretty awesome. That's a really good, really good deal. Yeah. Oh, also the fuel center. Gas prices yes. are so expensive. So anytime you have these discount memberships. Like we'll try to get our fuel at Costco. If you have a Sam's Club membership, you can get your fuel there, and it's it helps every little bit. Highly helps. discounted, yes. And well, same with Hornbachers because when you buy at Hornbachers, you Hornbacher. get the little thing on your receipt that's like six cents off gas. I love that. Oh, Utilize thank that, you. guys. Thank you, advice merchants, for, the for helping gas. us with this because it's kind of a pain trying to. Ooh, gas is expensive. Gas is like college tuition. Ugh. More to come about that gas price. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but up. First, your steals and deals.